What it do was good, YouTube. It's your boy, June 2. Smooth. Hey, smooth with you for new crew, knew exactly what to do. Hey, man, we're getting straight to the point today, bro, because we're talking about a very serious and important topic. We're talking about how to overcome addiction. And I'm talking about any type of addiction there is. This is my top three advice to make you become a better version of yourself and help you overcome any addiction. Okay? And when I'm talking about addiction, I'm talking about mental addiction right so if you have an addiction over crack or cocaine honestly i can't help you um because that's not something that i've experienced so i don't feel comfortable giving you advice on that but let's get straight to the video let's talk about addiction with pornography gambling drinking smoking anything that's really in the mind right because the power lies within the mind right and if you aren't capable of telling yourself to stop doing something that you no longer want to do you're more than likely addicted to it. That's the reality of it. Now, if you clicked on this video, you're already one step closer with overcoming your addiction. You're already one step closer, bro. Like literally, you feel me? So let's think of this as an exam, right? A person who accepts that they're addicted, which is you right now, because you just clicked on this video. So a person who accepts that they're addicted, a person who accepts that they need help, you've already received a 50% on your exam, right? And you need 70% to pass. Now this other two advices that I give you is gonna give you the other 20% that you need in order to pass. And then I'm gonna give you a third advice that's gonna get you to that 100%. So it's gonna get to the point where you're not only passing your exam, but you have now mastered the ability to have self-control. And I think that's the objective for everybody. So I'm gonna give those out there who are looking to just overcome their addiction and get better, I'm gonna give you the two advices for that to get you to that 70% to just pass. And then I'm gonna give the third advice, that 100%, that 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 ability to be able to master, master your urges, control your mind, literally be able to tell yourself what you want and don't wanna do. It sounds crazy that I'm saying this, but the reality is a lot of people are not ran by themselves. A lot of people are ran by their emotions. A lot of people are ran by their bodies. A lot of people aren't ran by this right here, which is wild. It's crazy to say, but 73% of people have some type of addiction. So let's get straight to it, man. My advice, my very first advice is you have to practice and train your mind to learn how to properly withhold and sustain from your body's wants and needs. So fast, right? You have to fast. Fasting is a necessity. It is a requirement. Why do I say you have to fast? Because fasting teaches the mind. It strengthens the mind. It teaches your body to learn to listen to your mind. Because at the end of the day, when you fast, y'all, you're withholding from your human needs. You're sustaining from your basic human needs. Oh, abstaining, I'm sorry. You're abstaining from your basic human needs. You're withholding from the need and the requirement of you to consume and survive. So when you're sitting here teaching your mind and strengthening it with the biggest requirement that you need for your body, it, it trickles down with everything else. It makes it a lot easier to overcome addiction with pornography or, 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 or the ability to not wake up in the morning or, or the ability to not drink coffee anymore or just the ability to say no. It's training that mind. You're strengthening that mind, right? Because in order for you to get better at something, it requires practice, right? You require practice. You need to put the time and effort in. And people don't tell you how you can practice, right? That's like me telling you, hey, bro, go to the NBA and be an NBA star. Be, be an all-star basketball player. And you're like, okay, how can I do that? And I'm like, I don't know. Figure it out. What? No, that's what June 2 Smooth is here for, bro. I'm giving you guys game on how to practice. How do you practice? How do you strengthen your mind? How do you get better? How do you learn self-control? Fasting is one of the biggest and best ways to practice. Sustain from eating food, bro. And, and you may feel like crap the first week you do it. But boy, A, your mental strength is going to be on another level. So that's, 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 that's June advice number one, fasting. 
advice number two advice number two of how to overcome any addiction is to change your perception of the addiction now what do i mean by change your perception of the addiction right a lot of us struggle with addiction because we view it as an addiction we've already accepted in our minds that we do this thing now don't get me wrong i'm not saying don't accept that you're addicted yes accept that you're addicted and you need help but don't sit here and accept that that makes you who you are do not add your addiction to your identity do not confuse your addiction for reality that's how an addiction occurs the mind starts to associate your addiction with reality we must alter the state of mind everything with addiction is up here you must change your perception of it so when you're speaking about your addiction or when you're talking to yourself I want you to sit there and tell yourself, I don't drink anymore, or I don't smoke. I don't drink, I don't smoke. Don't say, I'm trying to stop drinking, or I'm trying to stop smoking, or I'm trying to stop watching porn. No, that as you make that statement, you're telling yourself, hey, we still do this stuff, but we're making an effort to stop. That's the issue. You have to convince your mind, yourself, and everybody around you that you never did it. It never happened. You're done doing it. It's 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 no longer existent. You have eliminated it out your life completely. Because when you sit here and and you tell yourself that you're trying, I'm giving an effort to, I'm 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 I mean I'm thinking about it, being on a border about it, or just not being confident about it, your mind is never going to accept it. Because the reality is you don't accept it yet. Right? When people ask me, hey, June, do you smoke? You know what I tell them? Nah, I don't smoke. I don't do that stuff. Nah, I don't smoke. I'm, I'm not the type of dude who smokes. Even if I did smoke. That's just an example. I ain't never had a smoking addiction in my life. But that's just an example for you guys to understand. Right? So you must train your mind to think and believe that you've already overcome the addiction. Hey, bro, you watch porn? Nah, I don't do that stuff, bro. I don't, I don't watch porn. Even if you just did it one week ago, tell yourself you don't do that anymore. And this comes, this connects with point number two. Stop counting your days. Stop counting your days of not being with the addiction. Stop counting your days of abstaining from the addiction. That actually makes it worse. Let me give you guys an example, right? For my brothers who, who struggle with pornography or, or, or senior retention and withholding from their sexual energy. Counting your no fat days is actually worse. Because now you're training your mind to believe that no fat is actually the abnormal. You're no longer practicing what everybody else is doing. No fat is the abnormal. So now your mind is associating no fat with uncomfortability. It's associating no fat with non-reality. You, you know what that's doing though, in turn? That's also associating pornography with the truth or comfortability. Counting your days, saying I'm, I'm on week 15. You need to make your abstaining from your addiction the norm, right? You need to make it normal. It needs to be an expectation. It needs to be regular. Do you think a person who doesn't watch porn says, I haven't watched porn in X amount of days? No, because they just don't watch it. I don't know how long it's been since I stopped watching porn. I don't keep count. I just don't watch it. I don't, somebody asked me, how long has it been since you smoked? I'm going to say, I don't smoke. I'm not going to say it's been X amount of days. You don't keep track of that type of stuff. It needs to be normal. That's why you have an addicts who constantly relapse with their addictions. And they know the amount of, oh man, I'm, I was six months in and I failed. For one, for one, you counting those dates made it the norm. For two, you weakened your state of mind. And for three, 
you've also given yourself an excuse to fail again because now you've already failed. You're keeping track of your failures. Keeping track of your successes just keeps track of your failures. Yo, you just got to be on your journey and just go. Put your foot on the gas and go. Don't look back. When you're driving, it's okay to, to look in the rearview mirror for safety purposes. But let's say you're sitting here driving your car 100 miles an hour in the highway, but you're looking back the whole time. You looking at, at the rear view mirror. What's going to happen? You're going to crash, right? So why are you counting your no-fap days? Why are you looking back to the days that you struggled? Why are you referring to the days that you struggled? Oh, man, I've been a week strong. Why are you doing that? You're driving and you're looking, you're looking in the rear view mirror. Why? Why? You're going to crash. You're bound to fail. Keep your eyes focused. Keep your eyes straight forward, man. Look in the future. You feel me? And my advice number three, some people may disagree with this, man, but this is me personally. This is what I believe gives you ultimate strength and control over your mind and your body. It's the most high. Reading your word. Reading the Bible. Praying to the most high. When I fast, I practice fasting with prayer. I typically fast on Sundays where I pray. I spend the day praying with my family. I, it, this is just my personal opinion. This is what I know to be factual. That is what gave me full control over my mind. I feel as if without God, I have no control. The higher being above me does not allow me to fail. And even if I do fail, I accept the failure and, and put all the weight back on him. That's my top three advice, man. If you like these type of videos, y'all know exactly what to do, man. Hit that thumbs up button. Comment down below any questions y'all got. Y'all go subscribe to the Twitch. It's at June2Smooth, man. All social media is down low in the, in the uh, description, man. Either than that, though, man, Smooth Crew, we out, baby. Let's get it. It's to change your perception of the addiction. Now, what do I mean by change your perception of the addiction, right? A lot of us struggle with addiction because you view it as an addiction. We've already accepted in our minds that we do this thing. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying don't accept that you're addicted. Yes, accept that you're addicted and you need help. But don't sit here and accept that that makes you who you are. Do not add your addiction to your identity. Do not confuse your addiction for reality. That's how an addiction occurs. The mind starts to associate your addiction with reality. We must alter the state of mind. Everything with addiction is up here. You must change your perception of it. So when you're speaking about your addiction or when you're talking to yourself, I want you to sit there and tell yourself, I don't drink anymore or I don't smoke. I don't drink. I don't smoke. Don't say I'm trying to stop drinking or I'm trying to stop smoking or I'm trying to stop watching porn. No, that's that's that that's training your mind. You already you're telling yourself right now as you, as you make that statement, you're telling yourself, "Hey, we still do this stuff, but we're making an effort to stop." That's the issue. You have to convince your mind, yourself and everybody around you that you are done you never did it. It never happened. You're done doing it. It's 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 no longer existent. You have eliminated it out your life completely. Because when you sit here and, and you tell yourself that you're trying, I'm giving an effort to, I'm, 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 I mean, I'm thinking about it, being on a border about it, or just not being confident about it, your mind is never going to accept it. Because the reality is you don't accept it yet. Right? When people ask me, hey, June, do you smoke? You know what I tell them? Nah, I don't smoke. I don't do that stuff. Nah, I don't smoke. I'm, I'm not the type of dude who smokes. Even if I did smoke. That's just an example. I never had a smoking addiction in my life. But that's just an example for you guys to understand. Right? So you must train your mind to think and believe that you've already overcome the addiction. Hey, bro, you watch porn? Nah, I don't do that stuff, bro. I don't, I don't watch porn. Even if you just did it one week ago, tell yourself you don't do that anymore. And this comes 
This connects with point number two. Stop counting your days. Stop counting your days of not being with the addiction. Stop counting your days of abstaining from the addiction. That actually makes it worse. Let me give you guys an example, right? From my brothers who, who struggle with pornography or, or, or senior retention and withholding from their sexual energy. Counting your no fat days is actually worse because now you're training your mind to believe that no fat is actually the abnormal. You're no longer practicing what everybody else is doing. No fat is the abnormal. So now your mind is associating no fat with uncomfortability. It's associating no fat with non-reality. You, you know what that's doing though, in turn? That's also associating pornography with the truth or comfortability. Counting your days, saying I'm, I'm on week 15. You need to make your abstaining from your addiction the norm, right? You need to make it normal. It needs to be an expectation. It needs to be regular. Do you think a person who doesn't watch porn says, I haven't watched porn in X amount of days? No, because they just don't watch it. I don't know how long it's been since I stopped watching porn. I don't keep count. I just don't watch it. I don't, somebody asked me, how long has it been since you smoked? I'm going to say, I don't smoke. I'm not going to say it's been X amount of days. You don't keep track of that type of stuff. It needs to be normal. That's why you have addicts who constantly relapse with their addictions. And they know the amount of, oh man, I'm, I was six months in and I failed. For one, for one, you counting those dates made it the norm. For two, you weakened your state of mind. And for three, you've also given yourself an excuse to fail again because now you've already failed. You're keeping track of your failures. Keeping track of your successes just keeps track of your failures. Yo, you just gotta be on your journey and just go. Put your foot on the gas and go. Don't look back. When you're driving, it's okay to, to look in the rearview mirror for safety purposes. But let's say you sitting here driving your car 100 miles an hour in the highway, but you looking back the whole time. You looking at, at the rear view mirror. What's going to happen? You going to crash, right? So why are you counting your no fat days? Why are you looking back to the days that you struggled? Why are you referring to the days that you struggled? Oh man, I've been a week strong. Why are you doing that? You're driving and you're looking, you're looking in the rear view mirror. Why? Why? You're going to crash. You're bound to fail. Keep your eyes focused. Keep your eyes straight forward, man. Look in the future. You feel me? And my advice number three, some people may disagree with this, man, but this is me personally. This is what I believe gives you ultimate strength and control over your mind and your body. It's the most high. Reading your word. Reading the Bible. Praying to the Most High. When I fast, I practice fasting with prayer. I typically fast on Sundays where I pray. I spend the day praying with my family. I it, This is just my personal opinion. This is what I know to be factual. That is what gave me full control over my mind. I feel as if without God, I have no control. The higher being above me does not allow me to fail. And even if I do fail, I accept the failure and, and put all the weight back on him. That's my top three advice, man. If you like these type of videos, y'all know exactly what to do, man. Hit that thumbs up button. Comment down below any questions y'all got. Y'all go subscribe to the Twitch. It's at June2Smooth, man. All social media is down low in the description, man. Even in that, though, man, Smooth Crew, we out, baby. Let's get it. Stay alive, stay alive.